இந்த லேக்ல வந்து நம்ம டிராவல் பண்ண போறோம் நல்ல ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் எல்லாருக்கும் வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் சேனல் எனக்கு வந்து ரொம்ப மூச்சு வாங்குது ஏன்னா நாங்கள் வந்து இந்த ரிவர் க்ரூஸில் ஏறதுக்காக ஓடி வந்தோம் இங்கே வந்து டைம் எங்களுக்கு சிக்ஸ் தேர்ட்டி கொடுத்துருந்தாங்க நாங்கள் வந்து வாக் பண்ணி வந்ததுனால ரொம்ப லேட் ஆகிடுச்சு க்ரூஸ் போயிடுமோ என்னோடு கொஞ்சம் பயத்தோடையே வந்தோம் பட் போகலை ஃபைனலி நாங்கள் சீக்கிரமாக ஓடி வந்துட்டோம் அதனால தான் கொஞ்சம் மூச்சு வாங்குது பின்னாடி வந்து வியூ பாருங்கள் இப்போ நம்ம வந்து எங்கே பார்க்க போகிறோம்னா இது வந்து ஆர்கிடெக்சரல் ரிவர் க்ரூஸ் நம்ம வந்து ஒரு க்ரூஸில் உட்காந்துருக்கோம் இந்த க்ரூஸில் வந்து நம்ம ஒன் ஹவர் ஃபிஃப்டீன் மினிட்ஸ் ஃபுல்லாக நமக்கு வந்து சுற்றி காமிக்க போகிறாங்க நம்ம இந்த மாதிரி சூப்பரான பெரிய பெரிய பில்டிங்ஸ் எல்லாம் பார்த்துட்டு இந்த லேக்கில் வந்து நம்ம ட்ராவல் பண்ண போகிறோம் ஸோ நாங்கள் வந்து ஜாலியாக என்ஜாய் பண்ண போகிறோம் நாங்கள் ஜாலியாக என்ஜாய் பண்ணுற வியூவை கண்டிப்பாக உங்களுக்கும் சூப்பராக நான் கேப்சர் பண்ணி காமிக்கிறேன் சரி வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ளே போய் எவ்வளோ அழகாக இருக்குங்கிறத பார்க்கலாம் இங்கே வந்து சேஃப்டிக்கு லைஃப் ஜாக்கெட்ஸ் எல்லாம் வச்சுருக்காங்க ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் அடல்ஸ் லைஃப் ஜாக்கெட்ஸ் அந்த மாதிரி நாலு பாக்ஸ் இருக்கு ஸோ சேஃபாக நம்ம போயிட்டு சூப்பராக சுற்றி பார்த்துட்டு வரலாம் In 1893, Chicago hosted the World's Fair, the Columbian Exposition. You do that great European architecture, Greece and Rome, you inspire the population as well. Those successful make it a reality. On July 4th, 1909, Daniel Burnham unveils the plan of Chicago, the beginning of urban planning here, making the river the focal point of the entire city. Grand and noble architecture. Now, we're also going to see how Chicago became birthplace of the skyscraper from the late 1800s. I've got to tell you, that was less than a plan and more of an accident. Turning point Chicago history, friends. I would write this down. It'll be on your desk here. Uh, It's what led us to make a birthplace to the skyscraper because no longer allowed to build with wood. Chicago architecture with iron. To your left, Lake Michigan. Your birthright as a human being, you should know the five great lakes that are right here. You're on Ontario, our own Michigan here in spirit. You know what that rep Native American Chautauqua, the place of smell. An architecture, Genie Gang, Company Studio Gang. Check out our current project, the three towers merging together, soon to be third tallest building in Chicago, the 1191 foot, uh, that should be the second tallest building in Chicago. Jeannie Gang said she got her inspiration from the frustral. That's the crystal formation you find if you look at a sapphire. Now we look directly ahead of us into Trump International Hotel and Tower. Yeah, it's like 1930. As when we come under the bridge, look at this dome again. They had a great idea back in 1930. They were going to use that as a landing pad for airships, like the Goodyear Plymouth. Let me tell you, that never happened. Let's say that steampunk green guy, you might remember what they called the Gittenberg, the Rigidals, Wimps, Zeppelins. They basically fell out of the game. Except for Wimps, but they were always fun. Now coming up on the right, this black box modernism is the Fidelity Building, New Zealand Realty there. Now that's modernism. This style was born at the Bauhaus in our compound in 1920s Germany, mixing industry and art. And in modernism, if you look at this building, I think you're most familiar with modernism. That's your modern skyscraper. And it's nothing more than skeleton skin in space. You see, in modernism, no decoration allowed, no ornament. Who is a young man who attended Burnham's Fair, He's selling juicy fruit gum for the first time. So he brought the elegance of the fair home. That's Spanish revival. The clock tower is modeled on the 11th century. The Rolf Tower is in Spain. And we come to our Grand Boulevard, Michigan Avenue. Part of Burnham's plan was wild boulevards as well. We call this Boule Miche in French manner, Boulevard Miche. Burnham and Dean wanted to follow the kingdom of Paris on the prayer. That's where he got his inspiration. But hey, let's take it to the bridge. What happened to the bridge? The bridge we call the Salle Bridge. The first permanent president, the French speaking fur trader from Haiti, Jean Baptiste Alcassar, started the fur trading empire right about there in 1779. Now, some very unique buildings coming up on our building. The World's Fair influence. Now, this was inspired Italian revival after the 11th century. 
15th century Italian monastery of the Savoia de Pavia who built here for the diamond trade. Although there was a rumor that the dome once had a famous squad of speakeasy that was now proven. However, in 1937, there was a restaurant up there, the high view to look over Chicago at Wacker Drive by Spanish architect Ricardo Bofield. He is a modernist who is not afraid to do a little classic elements, a Greek temple style roof and pilasters like Greek colors. Now, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, the father of American modernism, his final American commission is the black box coming up on the right, A down to A plaza. You may have heard these famous expressions of this is Again, modernism is a bit of approach. You see what I mean by skeleton skin and space? That's all you need. Your frame, your wall, your 90% of the diet really is a square. But then there's a rebel of the crowd square. It's a curve of an arrow. They earn their nickname of corn top towers. So cool that these are side by side. This is the students rejecting the teacher. Working with Goldberg and studying with Mies van der Rohe. But he rejected the box as he liked the circle to kind of try and bring people together. He called that curvilinear flower form. He started going, this is not the industrial realm. So, and he didn't want to say this is worth embracing the real world. So what he did now out here, if you were downtown, if you were downtown, you wanted everything at home. Four restaurants, a bowling alley, a swimming pool, a bank, office space, George Jetson parking in your living space upstairs. Now look 45 degrees left, look at that squat building, 55 West Wacker Drive, and I introduce you to a style called brutalism. I think it's good to stare right at that building to really understand it. Brutalism comes from a French phrase, ventral brute or raw concrete. And brutalists, you know, they were basically modernists who had done too many steroids. They're like the Incredible Hulk of the architectural world. Joined a Facebook page called the Brutalism Appreciation Society. People just post pictures of hideous concrete architecture like that. All the people have absolutely love it. Now, step back with me to 1913, the Redwood Building Clock Tower. Coming up on the right is the Reed Murdoch Center by George Neiman, turned into the landscape, so we have no novels here. So basically, here's what they do. Hug the horizon balance here by the clock tower. Count the bays on either side of this clock tower, and you'll find there's five on the right. There's only four on the end. 1928, wide right into South Street. So the building is a little too far out, so they de-widen it. They just walk off 20 feet. Oh, I made up the word de-widen just now. That's not really word. French for seesaw. So each leap, you're turning around the front of the gym, you got to come away and move it. And you know you can read it. So the big boat yards are in the south branch, probably. And they'll be opening the bridges all the way to the docks by our docks. Now here's a true Chicago school building, 1912. So you see the big change from the low bearing wall to the morning building with an internal skeleton. And you start to have big windows. by the Marshall Field Departments. And they had to sell the building for only $13.5 million to Joe Kennedy, the father of our late president and senators. And I'll tell you how Joe Kennedy saved that building on the way back. Right now, have your cameras at the ready, my friends. Look about you in any report in Chicago where the first settled in. It's the confluence of the three branches of the river. You've got East branch, north branch, to our right, south branch, left. Then we'll just look at some architecture. Check out the beautiful building with the curve on our right. This is 333 West Wacker Drive, the first example of contextualism. Can you see how everything is about the river? And now, when did you date that building? It's very contemporary, but believe it or not, almost 40 years. It's 83, 1983. That building set the bar high for everything around you in the last five years. It said if you're gonna build around me, you better bring your A game, and everybody did. Now, Check out this new River Point building. They put in an arch to say we're special. This is where the three branches came up with it. But one of the kids said, hey, you should call that the Hot Pockets Sandwich. Into our heads. Anybody from California tonight? Just commercial. One Point South already has a name. They're calling it Salesforce. Same company that just did the tallest building in the San Francisco Bay Area. Now, this is history. I've just told you about the Trunyan Bascule Bridges. So here's a great visual aid. A single leaf Bascule Bridge. 
Note the counterweight that they have right there. I believe it was around 1908. We keep it around as a piece of urban art. I said it was 1981. One of the first loft conversion units in the oldest building I'll probably show you today on the river. In 1908, this was a refrigerated warehouse for 70 years. Like a freezer, for here he could punch windows for condos. Get this in three months in 1988 here in Houston, where after 21 years on the river, are still my, absolutely my favorite port. I didn't think anyone would ever leave. You know, you see how unique these are? Somebody sold number three for 2.3 million. Gary Lease was inspired by River Cottage as he knew from Amsterdam. Now I'm going to and let you know that Gary Lease was an architect and a sailor, and I'll tell you what, Gary Lease understood the river. He would say, the water is a battle, but we're all getting to it. I think Gary Lease understood that we humans have an archetype in our brains. We don't know why, but we long for the sea, the great blue, the azul. I'm going to leave you with that thought. Let's take a little break. So you can use the restrooms and visit Laney, the bartender.
And you have to understand, back then, there was none of this, what are the kids called, telecommuting? You had to be right downtown where the action was. Think way back, before cell phones. And Burt was very fond of a Gaudi quote. There are no right angles in nature. I see a little left over here. Now, friends, I want to do a little history, because this is some sacred geography on the right. If you were to hike a half mile to the right, you would come to the Chicago Fire Academy on Jacobin Street, where even as I speak to you, firefighters get the train. Where do you think they built the Firefighters Academy Boyo? They put it right on top of Patrick and Catherine O'Leary's barn. Yes, firefighters get their training at the very same spot where the O'Leary cow is thought to have kicked over the kerosene lantern cause of that great Chicago fire of 1871. Or did she now? However, we know the cow story was a hoax made up by a couple of newspaper reporters because Mike, August 1999, he stands here on the west side of the Sears Tower. He's wearing t shirt sweatpants, pants, rubber sole shoes, no ropes, no climbing equipment, one little hook on his belt in case he's stationed. He slips, but he pulls himself to safety. When you consider the mind, the building climber, and Lonnie McNair, how he wakes up and looks at the universe that we find the space we live in. You or I? Go around the back of this building on the street and find a little plaque. It'll say this is where the big that guy, Billy Caldwell. He's run by Billy Caldwell's best friend, the French Canadian Creole fiddle player, Mark Bobian. He would run around the hotel saying, I'll fiddle on the hotel. 13 electors sat down. They voted 12 against one to incorporate. And on March 4th, 1837, on such a short ground today, 333 West Wacker Drive. Every other week now, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Well, let's look at the merchandise mart again. The award and A Montgomery Award. If you'd like to know the A Okay, maybe you can prove more conducive to this. You know what we're doing? Topped off with a Ferris wheel, which is very appropriate as the inventor George Washington Gale Ferris called for choosing shoreline sightseeing. Welcome to Chicago, the city of I Will. My thesis again, the spirit of I Will is what we saw today. How we bounce back from the fire to host the world's fair to become the Chicago. Season two for the melody, the words are I'm Chicago Bell. I'm Chicago Bell. The crowd is burning down. And I'm Chicago Bell. Welcome to Chicago. I'll be waiting for you on the dock. Thank you. Thank you. Super cold and freezing cold. cold cold. first experience super So, enjoy video. Bye.